Hello, a oh, long time no vlog. <laughs> Better put this on, but no. Yeah. First off, it's I've been over a week since my last one. Yeah, mainly because I've been totally fatigued, shattered. The fatigue was really, really big this time. Um, the really can't be bothered thing proper there. Um, one thing I did notice. Um, the first six or seven days, me uh, uh, paranoid over fluids. Um, this time, I could only take small sips. Small tiny sips out of um. <clears throat> so a bottle, nowhere near enough, really nowhere enough because you generally can't be bothered. Um, that's, how, that's how much you can't be bothered. Um, to counteract this, um, I was trying to eat watery foods, soup, um, watery stews, anything with lots of, where you put water in overfill the pot noodle anything what I could eat my diet was dreadful <clears throat> proper dreadful um, and I've, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure now if I look back at the, the, the other two cycles um, it does get stronger the effects do get stronger um, but it's part and parcel of it that you muddle through you just muddle through the day days when you, you're proper muddling through if you're not drinking you're going to feel tired anyway and because you're not drinking, you can't drink because you can't be bothered and it's it's a chore to drink a little sip. But little sips it was. Um you get the scratchy throat. Got scratchy throat. Yeah. Everything's been a little bit more intense this this time. Um kidneys are aching. I think that was down to possibly not drinking enough. Um it seems to have cleared up now obviously because I'm drinking better. Yesterday, today I'm drinking a lot, lot better. Uh, and there's a reason why that is and um Hence, if you, I think if you can drink, it, you know, your time with the, from with the, with the chemo, you can generate a little bit quicker. But it's getting yourself to drink. But um, cotton mouth, I mentioned cotton mouth. Cotton mouth is actually your friend. <laughs> Take it from me. Cotton mouth is your friend because when I'm waking up at night with cotton mouth, I'm getting cotton. What what we got to do? You've got to drink. You've got to drink. So you're drinking. You drink fluid fl drying off. You swallow it. And I say 10 seconds later, cotton mouth comes back. What have you got to do? You've got to drink. Cotton mouth is your friend. Always remember that. Don't don't moan about the cotton mouth because I think it's cotton mouth that kick-started me drinking because it was proper, proper hard this month. Um, uh, vomiting, I had a day of vomiting. Oh, oh, oh. Flowers for the mother for the laws birthday. Yeah. I had... Um, I had Burning sensation right across uh, my lower abdomen, um, proper burning sensation, and then phew, vomiting started about midday. Um, phew, the horrendous three, th 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 vomited three times. Um, it was just horrible, just proper horrible. But I've only done it once. That that was, it lasted for about twenty minutes. Um, felt okay afterwards. To be fair, felt a little bit better. Um, the, I say that the, um, the boil sweet as well. That's another thing with the boil sweet. You know the smells. The smells in the boil is constant. It's it, it, it's been constant this month as well. It, it, it's I've noticed when my mask on. I don't know whether it's the the the, the closing of the mask. Yeah, it makes me boil a bit more. Um, but the boil sweet. If I keep a boil sweet in my mouth. It eases everything on that that thing, or whether it's doing something with the taste buds or whatever. But the boil sweet, if you if you, if, if your boil is getting out of control, pop a boil sweet in. If you're going to be sick with the boil, you can just spit it out. But the boil sweet proper proper helps. They, I carry carry packets of sweets around me, share with lemons, uh, anything, any any bags of hard sweets I can get my hands on. I'm, I'll, I'll pick them up and I'll I'll, I'll carry them around eating them. Yeah, uh, so they do help. So cotton mouth is friend because he makes you drink and the boiled sweets stop the bulk and it does stop it because it stopped mine and I tell you what it's um so, uh, to, to, to go and joke in my house at the moment is uh, when I start bulking my wife prob 
there's no no old bars in this house when it comes to taking the mickey out of someone <laughs> even when you even when you're having a bad day it, it, it highlights it because it brings it up and she's just laughing because anyone who's seen dumb and dumb you've seen where he, he, he sees his mate with his potential girlfriend and he's doing the book and then he's down the post and jim carrey's standing there balking and that's what it was like. That I mean, this is just straight away, dumb and dumb, and straight away it's on it. Uh, that's what it reminds her of. But yeah, the fatigue was proper immense. Proper. I, I didn't go back to bed. I had my little little goals as I do, getting up, getting washed and changed. I had my hair cut. I, I didn't recognise myself at the beginning of the week. I had my hair cut. Um, so I got my hair cut yesterday, yesterday the day before. Um, yeah, so ball sweets takes the ball away. It worked last month. It's worked again this month. Uh, I, when I'm not, when I wasn't drinking enough, I, I tried to do watery, watery foods, um, and like I say, that the, the, it's just muddling through. It, everything seems to be the same as last month and the month before with the thing, the pins and needles and the toes and feet are there. Um, to be honest, I'm trying to push the boundaries on that. Um, today I've decided I've just got ordinary socks on, and um, I've I've been like I done the garden yesterday and. Uh, try not to cover the mouth over. So these are things that I'm trying to see where I can push the boundaries now with to see whether my body's actually getting used to things. But other than that, yeah, um it was a bad week in in in, in respect to doing things. But yeah, I'm out the other side now, um drinking, I'm I'm eating better now and yeah, blogging again. And hopefully next week uh, I can get the kite out, but the weather's dreadful at the moment, so that's not gonna happen. The weather was shining when I was sick. What well, last week I had great weather and now would now I I'm, I wanna get out and about. Uh, the weather's dreadful, but other than that, yeah. Uh, so I've kept you up to date with this one. And um, hopefully um, it'll be onwards and upwards for uh, number four like, number four chemo. And then um, then it's time to like move on and uh, get on with my life. So, yeah. So uh, I'll keep you up to date with any develops. But, yeah, it's all good at the moment. So just remember, it's a big smile. And, uh, yeah, keep going. Yeah, just keep going. Because it's, it's not easy, but... It's doable. This is doable. It's not easy, but it's doable. So, yeah. So, I'll see you in the next one. And thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.